Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Tara here with a quick video for you today. We're going to milk Bell. It's only 90 degrees right now. It's actually a cool down that we've experienced this week. So we're going to try to show you as much as we can in our milking process. We do it twice a day. And uh, so I'm going to get started. She's already up in the stall, as you can see. I'm going to have to put her over. She has lots of visitors when we milk. These babies love her. They sleep on her. First thing I do is I uh, bring her in, try to brush her down if she needs it, and then of course I spray her with um, the iodine spray. Let that sit. Now in the mornings, it's a little bit different. This is a hot, wet towel, the bowl's behind. And I just like to wash her down really, really good. In the mornings when we uh, bring her in from the next stall, um, Baby helps milk now, so you're not going to see as much milking this afternoon as you will in the morning simply because baby's been separated. We keep the baby separate overnight next to her, but separate so she doesn't milk. And um, so we get more milk in the morning. So baby, since it's so hot, I'm probably sweating, um, you know, uh, she uh, gets to milk more. So we just clean her up and I dry her off. I've already sprayed her with my freshener. She came bouncing in here. So we have her, we do have her chained right here, just so she doesn't back too far out or whatever. We don't have too much issue with her kicking. Um, she kicks if a fly comes in here. I mean, it's East Tennessee, summer, it's rained all afternoon, now it's 90, the humidity is unbelievable. So I'm just drying her down with a dry cloth. We have a couple towels that are hers, just to make sure that all the extra stuff comes off. Now some folks get a bucket, let me go right here, and sit on it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Just depends on what I'm doing. Baby's always in the stall with us. And I'm just gonna start, usually we get more milk off the back teats because baby doesn't tend to milk as much off the back. But anytime I start to milk, I give each teat. Now this one is really stripped because baby's been on both the fronts. I try to, you know, give a good couple squirts each time all the bacteria is coming out. So I've washed my hands, we've used Betadine, we've washed her down. I washed her, I actually bathed her this morning. Gotten to where uh, it's so hot I just bathe her. So of course I'm, gonna, I'm on her right side because I'm right handed. You're just gonna take, I do both hands, but you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna grip in the cusp right there, the top of the teat to secure the milk. And then you're gonna clamp it down with the rest of your three fingers. Now with these back teat, since they're smaller, I only have to use two fingers. Her big teats are up here. When she's full in the mornings, honey, you ain't have no trouble with that. So I just go at it. I will tell you that having a milk cow, I think about this often. Having a milk cow um, certainly does change the whole uh, attitude in terms of homesteading. It's no longer a hobby farm. <laughs> because you're dealing with dynamics and things that you just never dealt with before. Size of the animal, so much extra cleaning, but the payoff is absolutely fantastic. Her milk is delicious. Uh, of course, we consume it all. We are getting right now with baby full on the udder, except for overnight. Um, we're getting anywhere from two to four gallons a day. Right now, since it's gotten really, really hot uh, in the past, week or two, really hot. We're getting about one, one and a half, actually, because the baby's taking in more. In fact, this morning she was actually, she was up on the front two teats, and then she was actually trying to nurse off the back. So, and that will increase. So we're actually in the process of, you know, trying to think about transitioning our barn. We're going to transition her outside now. It's so hot. Woo! And of course you might get a tail, get you. You don't want to be filmed? So anyway, so we just go at it with the milking. So we're gonna transition her outside and leave baby in the stall. It'll help with cleaning. Um, you know, I think just help with the whole process. We hope to get milk out of her up until Christmas time. That'll push her at eight months. Sometimes I wear my sunglasses just to milk. She, you know, the flies come in here now, it's so hot. So we have to really clean and spray our freshener and keep it down. It's amazing how much when you do clean and spray the freshener, the flies don't come in. And then if a day or two passes and you've let up, they are here. So 
Anyway, so we love this. We just wanted to share this real quick with you. I know everybody anticipated seeing her and seeing her milk <laughs> and seeing me get hit with the tail. Hi. She'll transition from eating to drinking to her hay. Um, and like I said, that's changed a lot even over the past week or so because of the weather. It's just been hot. So we're going to stop here on the video and let you see the baby. We'll probably get about a gallon here, and we'll make something great out of it and drink it and consume it. We love it. We filter it and refrigerate it. We actually freeze it and then refrigerate it. So she's hot. We're going to move fast. And there's baby over there and all their visitors that come in. We have chickens come in here and absolutely love these girls. We have a rooster that lives with them like 24-7 and runs with them, uh, Van, our black Jersey giant. They, come on baby, get TT. You wanna get in there? Am I taking your milk? Am I taking your milk? But we've just been blessed with this. So I'm gonna take it. If you're not gonna get on it, I'm gonna take it. You've already, come on, she's. But it's funny, she'll milk in the mornings over here behind me. So I'm here and the baby's here milking and we're both going at it and I joke with the calf, she doesn't know of course, but you know, it's like she's in a milk coma. She goes in this milk coma where she's just so happy like she had a milkshake. So, yeah baby. So we're just uh, glad to share, th to share this with you and we'll do some more milking videos. I just want to give you a preliminary one. Everybody wanted to see what was going on with her and our milking and all of that and we love it. Be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe here if you like what you see, check out our blog, we have some new posts up, and we're on, of course, Instagram, and we'll talk to you all soon, y'all stay cool out there, talk, y'all take care.